आज भारत की स्वतंत्रता की पिछहत्तरवीं वर्षगांठ के मौके पर मैं आप सभी का एम ऑफ इंडिया की ओर से बहुत बहुत स्वागत करती हूँ दिस ईयर दिस ईयर वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव not only in india but across the world yah tiranga jo hamare maan aur shaan ka prateek hai aaj har ghar lehra raha hai therefore it is the time to hoist the flag here in embassy of india bangkok i would request you all to please find comfortable seats there and be seated if possible we are waiting for madam ambassador to arrive i will request you all when she arrives to kindly rise up for flag hoisting and national anthem May I request all of you to kindly rise for the flag hoisting and national anthem.
I will request you all of you to kindly be seated. I would like to say few lines here. Rang ke sariya mastak saja. Rang ke sariya mastak saja. So I will request Madam Ambassador to kindly read out President of India's message to all of us. Madam, please. <coughs> देवियों और सज्जनों भाई और बहनों बच्चों नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलामकुम सवादी का गुड मॉर्निंग चहतुर्वे स्वाधीनता दिवस के शुभ अवसर पर मैं आप सबको हार्दिक बधाई देती हूँ हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे माई हस्बैंड एम्बेसडर स्वामीनाथन माई कॉलीग्स एंड आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू दिस मॉर्निंग on the 76th independence day of india as has been my practice till now before i read rashtrapati ji's speech i would like you like to give you a brief overview of developments in india as well as in india thailand relations since we last met here uh, on republic day while we continue to be in the midst of the most disruptive event in recent world history history that is the covid-19 pandemic fortunately most countries that have successfully vaccinated their populations have now opened up both india and thailand are in this category significantly the vaccine rollout in india that began in january 2021 has resulted in more than 2 billion doses being administered we have fully covered the adult population and are now administering booster or precaution doses as for children the coverage of 12 to 14 years is ongoing and soon younger children will also be covered our vaccine production is able to meet all our domestic needs and we have now resumed our exports to the covax facility as well as bilaterally we have also recently fulfilled the pledge made by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi to donate vaccines in the indo pacific region under the quad vaccine partnership which we did by donating 525000 made in india vaccines significantly this also included 200000 covax vaccines for thailand that i was honored to hand over with my quad counterparts to his excellency deputy prime minister and health minister of thailand khon anutin chan virakul on 21st of april this year while our economy like that of all countries faces challenges and above all that of covid-19 the government was quick to respond with a major stimulus and a recovery program under the atmanirbhar bharat initiative This has resulted in a 8.7 percent growth in 2021-2022, and the latest estimates indicate a growth rate of 7.2 percent uh, in the coming year, which is 2023, making it 
sectors growing most, including the uh, PLI or the production linked incentive scheme across 14 sectors to increase manufacturing. The Gati Shakti National Master Plan, which includes seven jobs being created. This last year has also led to a spurt in merchandise exports. India has the third largest ecosystem for startups with over 75,000 startups across the country and 105 unicorns. Last year alone saw the creation of 44 unicorns. As for India's relations with Thailand, as you all know, it's a very special year. We are marking 75 years of the establishment of our bilateral relations. India-Thailand relations is a multifaceted one that continues to grow from strength to strength. Trade and commerce is at the heart of our relationship and last year was one of the best for our bilateral trade as we hit a record $15 billion trade which is far higher than the pre-pandemic record of over $12 billion. The embassy has been as active as ever with almost weekly events. We launched our joint logo contest for the 75th anniversary of our bilateral relations in 2020, in January 2022, and held a wonderful public event in March uh, 2022, which was presided over by Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Thailand, His Excellency Mr. Don Pramod Vinay. When we announced the winners, of course, of the logo contest, since then, we've held several photo exhibitions, cycling event, quiz contests, music and dance performances, both at the embassy, as well as in other venues, and of course, at the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center. The Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center has also been conducting classes very regularly and holding cultural programs. Recently, in fact, uh, some of you may be aware that we conducted an event at the Queen Siriket Museum of Textiles to commemorate both the 75th anniversary of our bilateral relations as well as the 90th birth anniversary of uh, Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, the Queen Mother, in collaboration with the Indian community. This was greatly appreciated uh, in Thailand, as was our earlier vaccine handover of 200,000 vaccine doses. I'm delighted to inform you that we were also able to successfully organize the second Northeast India Festival in Bangkok. It was a massive exercise. Over 400 artists, academics, tour operators, business persons arrived from the Northeast region for the festival that we organized with Trend MMS of Guwahati, which was led by Mr. Sham Kanu Mahanta. Some of you may recall that the, the first one in 2019, which I'm honored to say happened a few months after I arrived here. This time the scale was even larger with the presence and the support of the Minister of State for External Affairs, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, who was here, and also the Honorable Chief Ministers of Meghalaya, Nagaland, and the Deputy Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh.